Hey folks, I'm Tony Crabtree and I'm walking with you through all the steps of the home buying process here. This is a great series for any person who's attempting to purchase a home for the first time. Or if you simply want a refresher on what happens when you go to buy a new home, this is great for that too. If you have questions about any of this or you want to dig further into any of this information, definitely email me or you can call me or text me. That works great too. Okay, once you've found a home and you've got an offer accepted, the next step is step five, the inspections. Your real estate agent is going to help you do this, but you'll schedule your home to be inspected. And you'll keep in mind, like your home is going to be one of the largest financial investments of your life. You definitely want to make sure you're making a wise decision here. And the best way to do that is to get a home inspection. You know, so I encourage most clients to visit during this, but a general home inspector is going to visit the home and do a full top to bottom inspection on pretty much everything in the house. And he's going to look at major things like the roof, crawl space, you know, the flooring, insulation, ductwork, electrical panel, and the plumbing. And that's just a few of the major things. Now, I recommend clients go to the home inspection just so that the inspector can actually point out to the client all the important problem areas with the house. Sometimes it just helps to have somebody show you what they think rather than just tell you on paper. And when the inspector is done, they're going to send the agent and client a full report breakdown of the house. You may also want to get other inspections done such as inspecting for termites, mold, radon, or even like a closer look at the HVAC system. After all these inspections have been done, your real estate agent is going to work with you to prepare a list of repairs that you're actually going to request from the seller of the property. They may agree to all of these repairs, they may only agree to some, or even actually none of them. But this is a chance to allow you, the buyer, to walk away from the property if it has some problem areas or red flags that you just don't want to deal with. The inspections are a way of protecting you, the buyer, from purchasing a home that's going to be a disaster for you later down the road. All right. After all these inspections have been done and the buyer and seller have agreed to the terms on which the uh, repairs are going to be done, you'll move on to the last big step, which is step six, which is the appraisal. This is often a confusing part of the process, and I'd love to help clear it up for you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have any questions related to this information, or perhaps if you want to take some time for us to discuss helping you with purchasing a new home, go ahead and give us a call. Email works great too if that's better for you. Also, if you can, take a moment and hit the like button at the bottom of the screen and subscribe for me. That helps others know that there's some good and helpful information here. Thanks folks, hope to talk to you soon.